this is Jilly Bling, jillybling.com, and as promised, um, I have another card. I'm using the Outdoor Barbecue Stamp Set, and here it is. What do you think? I'm purposely putting my thumb over this part here. Not to say that I made my little line crooked, but there, I'll show it to you just like that. And then on the inside, it's real simple. Just ketchup and mustard, and then once again, the, um, the hand-drawn little squiggly dot dot dots. And this, thanks to Danny Joe for sharing. I love this card, it's really cute. Okay, so let's get started on making this card. So this, to do the cutting, um, I have a little template. And I'll take a picture of this template, but it's pretty much the black paper is five and three eighths by four and an eighth, and the white paper, which we're going to cut into these pieces one, two, three, four pieces it's five and a quarter by four. So it's the same size. So the top piece, and I'll take a picture of this and I'll post it on my blog. Um, but the little divider is one eighth of an inch, and that's where the black shows through to make that little pattern. Okay, so there's that. Of course I use the pencil and I'm going to use the pencil too. I know that this is four inches going across to make a little mark at two inches so that this doesn't happen again. And then a little mark at one and a quarter inch here. And that is on my little cheat sheet where it says two inches is where you do the dot 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 one and a quarter is where you do this okay so the ruler is going to be needed the pencil will be needed and it's not that hard don't let tools like that make you nervous okay so let's get started here's the base paper and I'm purposely using call me clover paper this is about to become retired and it's really nice and really bright and really happy and when I was looking up Danny Joe's card, she had it, I forgot what color she had. I don't think it was red like the previous card we made. Um, I think it just might have been a stainless steel barbecue. But being in Oregon Duck Country, I think the green is perfect. So I would stick down the black, but... <clears throat> I put dimensionals under it just because otherwise the card is really flat. There's a lot that went into it, but it's really flat. But I could put this black layer on the inside. And then before I put the white piece in here, I'll um, I'll do the stamping first, because if I mess up, I want to be able to flip it over. Okay, so to um, pretend like I'm cutting all these pieces, and once again, I will share this little template to make it a bit easier. So, here's all the little pieces, and I just put them back on here. Did I attach them? Oh, barely. I barely attached them. But it's time to do the stamping. So, love is in the air. This one here is going to be done in memento, right in the middle. Okay. And next is, how about the barbecue? nice and the ketchup is done in red so because I have the memento open I'm gonna go with the hamburger do you remember who was it Steve Martin he'd always in that show what show was it hamburger hamburger he was like a I think it's Pink Panther that was so funny 
he was trying to perfect his English American accent and he was getting nowhere with it. Okay, so how about ketchup? So this project, we're going to be doing that little squiggly line business. So this would be a really good time to now, or right before you start coloring, or when you're coloring, start drinking your coffee. Because if you have the shakes going on, it works perfect. So, do you like my little flame? Do you notice the colors, the different colors in there? That is using three colors. And I think it was like a year ago, I did a video on rock and roll. And this is using that same technique. So I'll do it a little bit fast right now. But if you want to really know how to do it um, and get some really in-depth tricks and tips on rock and roll, watch that video. Let me make sure there's no ink on there. There's ink on there. That was from the previous card. Okay, now it's cleaned up. So the colors I have here are, in a different language, this is Daffodil Delight. This is Mango and Pumpkin. So I'm going to start with the lightest color. Tap, tap, tap. Then I'm going to roll around the outside edge of the ink in a bit darker color. And then, this one I did it at the top, the pumpkin, but this time I'm going to try at the bottom, the pumpkin. I'm just trying something different. Okay. Can you see all those colors on there? The pumpkin you can hardly tell, but that's because there's not much rubber, not much of a stamp down there. But you can see the different colors. So to do the next one, I'm going to make sure to get this. I could clean it all the way. I probably should. But if you just stamp it on your grid paper, on your scratch paper, that's good. Lightest. Medium color, just around the outside edges. And then pumpkin pie at the bottom. At first, when I started doing this, I was worried about, oh, I got those really crooked. <sighs> I don't think I could put a second one on there. You never do mess ups, do you? Where's my little adhesive remover? I just had it yesterday. Um... Well, here's my old one. I was saying something and I forgot. Okay, I was a little frustrated there. Back to Memento. Oh, I was worried about damaging the ink pads, but you get such a slight amount of ink in them that um, it's okay. It doesn't ruin them. Okay, so now we're going to do some more rock and roll. Back to where we were. Clear it off. Go with the lightest one around the edge, with the bottom one in the dark. That came out good. That's better. That. Yeah, this one's better. Okay, so close these up. And I'll stick that Love is the Air. Oh, there's one other thing I want to show you on this one. So, this you attach. Oh, I pulled out my big. My big magenta adhesive. Usually I like to use the littler one because it's better. It doesn't take up so much space. Um, so for the ketchup, just for a little bit of detail, I am going to use my Stampin' Up! Project Life journaling pen. And I'm just going to make the lid... Um, black. Oops, it sounds like Tony's here. 
you know it's going to happen. They're going to come in loud. That's just what they do. Okay, I'm tracing around the label. Okay, and then I'll make the little highlight marks using the black pen. And while I have the black pen, I'll show you how to do this edging, and it's not hard. I think if you know Morse code, you could do it really good. And like I said, if you have caffeine in you, you'll do really well. So I did a dot, squiggly, dot, dot, dash, dot, dot, squiggly, and a line. And I try to end each of the corners with a dot. And there's no right combo. It could be um, like I did a single dot, a dash, dot, dot, squiggly. There's no right or wrong. Now I'm running out of space. So I'll do a dot and then a squiggly. And you just keep doing that around all the edges. And in class, when people were learning this, they were really nervous. But you, it's hard to do wrong. So if you like, you could try going around the outside of your paper. Like I said, if you're caffeinated, you'll do really good. Until you feel a little bit confident. Just so it's a little bit of variety. Okay, so just like that around the whole thing. And then with your blends, color in the barbecue, the burger, and the two corn. Oh, and to do this divider, let me show you how to do that. So once again, on this little cheat sheet, I have this and it says one and a quarter inches. So with my pencil and ruler, I'm going to mark one and a quarter, and I'm going to put a mark here, and then I'm going to measure it over here too. So when I do the line, it will be between, you know what, I might as well just draw the line. Just because I don't want this right here. See how crooked it is? And right there, sure enough, there's my dot, and I didn't go to the dot. Bad. Okay, so this one going across, I know it's four inches total. So I'll put the little dash right here at two. And then down here at two. I'll draw the line, just really light. Okay, so. I'll do a dot, dot, dot. Okay, and then give it a second to dry. And I'll get rid of, I have a pencil eraser. There it is. Okay, so for one that's all the way done, it's right here. And I attach the top and the bottom. And I was when I attached them, I was just making sure that this amount was all equal and this amount was equal. So now I have these two parts. Oh, and just a hint, when you cut out this one, it is slightly different by just an eighth of an inch. So if you cut it out, you might say it's not fitting very well. Just before you stamp on it, make sure you have it placed in the right position. Okay, so these are ready. Oh, I didn't do this one. That's okay. It won't take long to do it. So that part is done. So this I put on dimensionals. And I'm going to use the outside edge. Don't throw away your outside edge. It's very good 
perfect dimensional, especially for outside borders. Okay, maybe one in the middle. This gets put right on here. Doesn't that look good? It's much better when it's straight. Okay, so for the inside, what did I do? I remember I kept it really simple. Oh, just the ketchup and mustard. Okay, so I'll get the white paper. Make sure it fits. And that it does. And I think I have red ink on here. Yes. I was going to put words on, but a dad like you is rare, is good, especially if you're using the meat. But then that means that this is now a dad's day card, which is fine when you need that. But at this point, it could be for just about any reason. If you're going to someone's house to give them a thank you, it could be for your favorite barbecue or person so I kept it less is more on the inside ketchup ketchup and now for the mustard I'm going to use curry I think they make a curry mustard That has a little bit of color still on it. So, I love my chamois. The spray and mist, I love the smell of it. Usually I just pour. Mmm, that smells good. Now it's clean, too. Okay, so, curry for the mustard. Kind of like the bottles are doing cheers. And this one I want laying down. Okay. And then I'll do a little bit more of my caffeinated Morse code at the bottom. Dot z, wiggle dot dot dash dot. I don't know. Can you tell I'm just making this up? Okay, so now this goes inside the card. Boy, if you don't take time to color, it goes kind of fast. So the reason I'm doing this card that kind of has the grid on it was I saw another card, and once again, it had um, different sections on the front of the card, but it was using the pedal to the metal stamp set. So this is what's coming up next. Um, eventually, we're going to do Clubhouse, the golfing one. And next, I'm going to do this using that other grid and not so much coloring. I'm using the pedal to the metal stamp set and that should be fun. Something different, very different. Okay, well I hope you have a good weekend. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye!